Moses prayed, teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. When I first prayed that prayer, I pictured all of my days laid out as blocks of time. Can you picture all the days in, say, a 90-year life in rows? Now, each one of those dots is only a single Tuesday or Friday, but it looks so short. Hmm. What if instead of measuring your life in units of time, you measured it in the really important stuff of life, relationships? Let's look at how much time the average Canadian spends with their parents. It turns out that when you graduated from high school, you already used up 93% of your in-person parent time. That is a lot. Mm -hmm. But once you head off to college, if you left home permanently, you probably saw your parents an average of 10 days a year. So let's say you have both parents alive into your 60s. That would give you about 300 days left to hang out with mom and dad. That's less time than you spent with them in any one of your 18 years before adulthood. That's so short. So when we look at that reality, you realize that despite not being at the end of your life, you may very well be nearing the end of your time with some of the most important people in your life. Quality time matters because life is about relationships. The rest is just details. So if you're in your last 10% of time with someone you love, keep that fact in the front of your mind when you're with them and treat that time as what it actually is, priceless. We would like to pray with you right now. Let's pray. Lord, Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom because we live in deeds, not years, in thoughts, not breaths, in feelings, not figures on a dial. Teach us to count time by heart throbs because he most lives who thinks most, who feels noblest and acts the best. Lord, we thank you for Jesus, the source of life, and for giving us a heart of wisdom. We pray in Jesus' name, amen.